No, it's not another earthquake. It looks like it, right? No, it's just that Taco Bell is quivering with excitement over this announcement video on the next special edition TMP blade. Yeah, Taco Bell, right there. What am I talking about? This here, the 1 to 144 scale C47 Skytrain. See, it says Taco Bell right there. See it? There you go, focusing now. Oh, wait. Silly me, that's Tico Bell. <laughs> Tico Bell. Okay, so Z8 is Tico Bell. Too late. We have nicknamed you Taco Bell. That's right. So this is a Taco Bell C47 in D-Day paint job. World War II. Oh yeah, paratrooper plane. You've seen it in all the movies. Great plane. C47 DC3. Great, great plane. We love it. Love it. They're on the table with another decoration. Very cool. Sith Jet Trooper, y'all. Yep. In red. Look at how cool that is. Six inch scale. Affordable. I'll put a link to this below. Look at the blaster. The movies absolutely suck. The latest Star Wars movies are garbage. But man, there's some cool figures coming out in this six inch Star Wars lineup. You're going to see some more in the bunker. This is the model number for this one right here, in case you care. Uh, probably short-lived. It'll sell out quickly. Then we have a Momentum Field Walker black watch in the background. So excellent. Great field watch. And on we go with the announcement video as Taco Bell continues to quiver with excitement. <laughs> Thanks so much for sticking with me through all these years. When I named what I was doing here in YouTube, I'm still on YouTube for now, uh, I called it Project, the P, Project, because I always intended it to be long-term. Like so many things I wanted to do and put under the circus tent, if you want to call it that, of the Nut and Fancy Project, now you see what I mean. So if you go to TMP Patreon, you should belong. I just posted a video called... Uh, TMP Patreon preview, what's coming up and content for my donors. Remember, on that donation service, it's like four times the content you'll see on any other channel, including the A channel on YouTube. It's been that way for years. So three, four videos a week, gun reviews, knife reviews, flashlight reviews, shooting videos, adventure videos, wilderness videos, boating videos, motorcycle adventure once in a while, and all the other content you see to go under that project umbrella, that tent. Uh, it's long term, decades long. Now, one way we celebrate where we've been and where we're going and where we are now, I guess, it are by special edition knives. Again, I don't do these knives and Jake at Blade HQ doesn't help me, help me with these knives necessarily to, I don't know, make a collectible that goes way, way, way up in value, even though that's generally what happens. We do it to celebrate TMP. And more importantly, you guys who have supported me through all these years. Thank you so much. Thanks for clicking on this video. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for sharing them. Thanks for being donors, especially. Very grateful. Humbled by it. It's a project, though, and I foresee it going on. We'll see what happens politically in this country, but I would like to have it go for at least another 20 years. So, yeah, two zero. Two more decades. And then, and then maybe... I will retire, assuming my health holds out. So that's always important. One way we celebrate where we've been, blah, 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 all that good stuff, knives. Okay, core content in TMP, it's always been that way. You guys know how this works. You should have paused the video within the first few seconds, thrown one of these knives, maybe two of these knives in your cart and check out. Just don't put them in your cart and get distracted, <laughs> go feeding the dog, washing the car, and then you come back because it might be the situation that happened last time that guys went to go check out with this knife right here, the Spyderco Dragonfly, and it was gone. And I heard about it. They were like, oh my gosh, you know, I just delayed too long. I didn't get one. Uh, so this was a special edition knife. We love Spyderco. It's awesome. And this one is trading much higher than it sold for. Uh, differences from a normal dragonfly. Go see that video in the announcement video. I'm not going to talk about it here. But a case in point how um, they are commodities, so they do go way up in value. I will go out on a limb and say generally double what you pay is what they'll end up trading for 
as commodities on the knife market. That's just what we've seen. Um, not always, but generally that's the case. Um, maybe up to double what you pay. We're not putting them out for that. We're definitely not pricing them that way. We price them as low as we can to pay the bills. Uh, Jacob Blade HQ, I'll get a few dollars off of it. Great. We're not really out to make money off this. It's just a way to celebrate the project. And here we go with the, you know what it is, at least Patreon guys do, Patreon gals do, the ProTech Les George Designed SBR. It stands for the Short Bladed Rock Eye. Here comes the orange acid washed version. Oh, that's so cool. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's got the George Cross on it. I did sign this one. No, I can't promise, promise you you'll get a signed one. Now, if you're a TMP Patreon member, okay, and you email me in the Patreon service, you know, and you provide me a self-addressed stamped envelope, uh, actually not stamped, but just do priority mail back to yourself, I'll sign yours. It may take me a while, so if you're in a hurry, don't do that. It might take a month. So if you're in a hurry, don't do it. And anytime I see you in person, if you have a special edition that fancy knife and I have my engraver, I'm more than happy to sign it for you. All, uh, of course, for free. I won't charge for that at all. And Patreon members will get that. Just send it to the address I provide you and then I'll get it back to you. So it looks really good. I signed it bold on this. This is the S35 blade we looked at in the SBR review. You might look that up. Uh, great jimping on this, like I said in the review. It's got a flat for sharpening for an Edge Pro Apex. Super sharp out of box. 100% American made, guys. So if you don't want a Chinese blade, I think what you're getting, <laughs> this nothing fancy collectible for, like I said, we, we kind of price it low. Maybe too low. We should, we should probably price it a lot higher than we're doing, but we're not doing that. I'm a value guy. I like keeping the prices as low, low as we can. So ProTech makes a few bucks. Blade HQ makes a few bucks. Maybe I make 25 cents in the process. That would be great. I'll go buy another hamburger, maybe some fries. That's what I that's what we do. We've always done that. And you know, you'll see it trade a week after it sells out for 80 bucks more than you paid for it. Why do I keep saying that? Because to me it's fascinating. It's fascinating how they hold their value. This is the orange one. They're gonna have smooth handles, and the reason we did that is so we could laser engrave it. This is a prototype, of course. So if these ever go up for sale, the prototypes are going to trade for, oh geez, I don't want to put a price on it. They're going to be really expensive though. And what we use these for are for checking out the quality levels, the colorations, and ProTech, thank you very much. You freaking nailed our colors. They did exactly what we wanted and anodizing on this 6061 aluminum handle set sometimes can be a little bit tricky and they got it. So this is the orange. So it's not the bright, bright orange. It's kind of more of a muted orange. I really love it. And it looks great on the acid wash finish. I'm sorry if you live in a non-auto state. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you should move. That's right. Look at the positive firing on that. Oh, yeah. The short-barreled rifle. That's what I call it, SBR. And we have a recessed button here so it doesn't stick out. And thankfully, they do not have a safety on it. And it's a pretty powerful push you have there so I really wouldn't worry about the SBR opening up in your pocket there's our deep carry loop over pocket clip it's super lightweight just a great knife great knife so there's the orange version we have three versions and I'm going to say goodbye to Mr. Star Wars Sith Jet Trooper so we can get a close-up look of these blades three versions there's the orange I think there's only 300 worldwide. Yeah, you heard right, 300 worldwide. Why, why didn't I make more? Um, we want them to be special and we want them to be ultra collectible and we just went with 300 because some people don't have it, you know, the money for an auto knife. These are more expensive than like the TMP Lightning. That was super affordable. This is gonna be more. It's a US produced knife. It's going to be much less expensive than the GTX 25, which I have floating around here somewhere, wherever it went. It's that uh, Recon. By the way, here's the box he's coming right here. So it's got a nice BHQ sleeve in it. Plastic, of course, and you'll have like a, a fleece bag to put your knife in. 
There you go. Yeah, so it's it's less expensive, I think, than a lot of auto knives that I reviewed and love, by the way. Here comes the uh, bronze version. I'm going to call it the Spartan version in black. Super cool. Again, S35, perfect steel, I think. Very durable. Particle metallurgy, just great edge holding. Easy enough to sharpen, I think, if you have a sharpener. I engraved this one, and this is a blackened blade also engraved and it will have your serial number on it and I think the way BHQ is going to do it as we have in the past it, it will be first come first serve so those people who order up very quickly will get low serial numbers I don't know if they're fielding requests you might give it a shot and see what happens so if you want one you might say hey can I have this this one number like James Bond 007 that's going to be a popular one now that I mentioned that Guys right now are adding it to cart. I want 007. Oh, here's that knife. So this is a GTX 25. It's going to be way more expensive than this one. This is an OTF mini knife. I love this knife. It's freaking cool. Smooth. I'll put a link to this below. But it's it's more expensive than this collectible. <laughs> Finally, uh, and I don't want to really designate a favorite. Uh, uh, but you guys, I know what you like. Here comes the two-tone TMP Blue. Special Edition Pro Tech Les George, hang in there, I'm almost done. Les George SBR TP version in two tone. Yeah, this one will be a little bit more expensive, a little bit because the two tone costs us more to do. Again, kudos to Pro Tech, US, US hand produced knife. Uh, they did it right. Just a beautiful blade on this. I don't know why, but that cross just looks rad. The George cross, it almost looks like a Maltese cross, doesn't it? And those were on the back of uh, Beals T-38. So I flew the T-38 Talon in the Air Force. I never flew Beals, and they, they were the black ones. So they're pitch black to match the U-2s, but they do have gloss black. And if I remember right, they had a Maltese cross on the vertical stabilizer. That's what this reminds me of. Super cool. Razor sharp once again, two-tone. So, you, you know, this is going to be the most popular version. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but guys love any blue knife. One reason is there's a lot of TMPers that have TMP special edition collections. And a lot of the ones I've come out with, like you saw with this Dragonfly, have been blue. And so they're just adding to that. Totally understandable. But don't think for even two seconds that I'm not in love with all three of these. These I love that color, love that color, love that color. Uh, here's the bottom line. I would not have produced them if I didn't. Now, I had a live live stream with Mrs. Nut and Fancy and TMP Patreon. Yes, I do live streams to my donors once a month at least. Join TMP Patreon once again. You'll see live streams. Participate. Love hearing from you. Uh, maybe I do them on the main channel one day. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We, we might do a super chat sometime. I don't know. But guys were asking about this. Like, when's the next special edition knife coming out? When's it coming out? And I told them, and a lot of them figured out it was going to be this SPR. I said, SP, how about SBR? Yeah, they figured it out, and they're like, oh, dude. I told them, like, Sunday, I was like, get ready, it's coming out, and here it is popping. Before the end of 2020, with, uh, I don't know, some scary times ahead, but TMP keeps trucking along. There's this side of the two-tone version. So it's a super compact, easy-to-carry low profile, deep carry, wicked fast, capable EDC blade. And that's what I said in my original review of the S, S, here I go again, SBR. Yeah, and all that holds true, but now it's gonna be collectible. And what guys are gonna do, they're not gonna carry this. They're just gonna put it in their collection. Um, TMP knife collection, as I was mentioning, there are several that do it, and all three of these would be a great addition. The Spartan version, the TMP orange, the TMP blue, two-tone, take your pick. They're fantastic knives. Um, now, I say perhaps the, the best auto blade we've done yet, and it's going up against the very amazing Microtech Ultratech that we came out with in 2012, a lifetime ago. And those are not quite up to double what people paid, but they're getting close, if you can find them. And, uh, well, you've seen it before. I won't put it on camera right now. 
So good luck ordering them. I think they are fantastic. I want to extend, extend my humble thanks once again to ProTech for helping us with this project and also Jake at Blade HQ uh, for making this project possible. And again, it is a project. So it's a long-term gear adventure channel at its heart. Adventures, reviews, like you've seen. A lot more to come. I've worked extremely hard this summer producing content. I always do. And I'm passionate about it. And you'll see that come through in the reviews and the videos um, continually. And we have knives to mark our experience together as, uh, I don't know, friends of the Nut and Fancy Project. And I guarantee you, you will be extremely happy with these blades if you're lucky enough to get one. Thanks so much and happy hunting with another very short-lived, quick-selling Nut and Fancy Special Edition blade. Over and out.